If I was to ask you who your customers are, what would you say? Everybody? Well, good luck marketing to everybody on the planet. You might need to get a little bit more specific in your search though. In this series of videos, we're going to talk to you through sales personas, what are sales persona, and what goes into a sales persona, and why should you have a sales persona. And in the next video, we'll talk a little bit about the customer journey, and we'll put the two of them together, and we'll find you your customers. Build a sales persona. A sales persona is basically a fictional person that you're going to sell to. Let's call our fictional person Mary. And with this fictional person, every time that you make a marketing decision, you're going to ask yourself a few questions. Is this solving Mary's problem? Can I market to Mary? What would Mary think of this campaign? The reason that you're doing this is because you need to focus your marketing material. If you say, I'm marketing to everybody, well then you're, you're not going to be able to market to anybody. Using the sales personas, this focuses in on different segments of the market. So rather than doing everybody, you just do one little piece at a time. And for this video, we're marketing to Mary. What goes into a persona? So what goes into a sales persona? To be honest, this, this list can be very long. You can put as much information into it as you want. The more information, the merrier. But let's start off with the basics. We'll start off with name, gender, age range, the simple things. Then let's get a little bit more detailed. Let's get into, our, what's their family situation? Are they married? Are they not married? Do they have kids? Do they have no kids? What's their job? What's their income? And what's their education? The reason for this is because it will become apparent later on where you market to them. If they're more professional, maybe you market to them on LinkedIn. If they're younger, maybe you market to them on TikTok or Instagram. So as we build this up, we'll get more of a clearer picture of, where, of who this person is. Now let's talk a little bit about their problems and frustrations. So what is their problems and frustrations? And an example of this could be lack of time, lack of money, and um, kids clothes don't fit. My phone is broken, I need another phone. So these are problems and frustrations that we, that we can use later on in the marketing. But now let's talk about their shopping habits. Do they shop online? And um, do they go to retail stores? Do they buy high-end fashion or fast fashion? Once you get this into a PowerPoint, um, an Excel sheet, something, some sort of document that you can look at, it should read something like this. Mary, she's 37, she's from Ireland. She's the director of a HR software company. She has no time due to her kids and work life. She's a social media addict, but someone who also hates online shopping. So that's, that's our persona. That, what you should do really now is to build a couple of these personas Everybody's different with their marketing campaigns. You may want to talk to single mothers. You may want to talk to high professionals. Build a persona for the exact people that you want to talk to. If you want to market to more people and not just Mary, if maybe you want to John who's a student. Build out the sales personas for the deep individual marketing campaigns that you want to do in the future. My name is Tom and thanks for watching. I hope this helped and if it did, please give it a like and feel free to subscribe to the channel. Cheers.